And uh, today is, uh, as we mentioned earlier, National Cheap Flight Day. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you've got some places to be between now and the end of the year, supposedly today is the day. Although every time there's like, you know, Black Friday or Amazon Prime Day or whatever, like, are there really that great of deals out there? Or is this just something because there's a a heightened demand Mm -hmm. when people hear about this kind of stuff? Doesn't demand drive price? It does. Right? Yeah. They mathematically figure it out ahead of time. Well, uh, one thing I saw, I watched this whole report on it. It was pretty interesting. Uh-huh. Uh, ABC, I think, did it. But anyway, it's on YouTube. You can find this where they, they were showing how, let's say you look up a flight. Okay. You want to fly to Miami, whatever. Mm-hmm. So you go to whatever website it is. Now your computer in the cookies or whatever it is logged that you are searching for a flight to Miami. So if you look for that flight right now, you're going to get one price. If you come back even an hour or two later, that price is going to be heightened because they see that you're looking at it. Right. That yeah. You're, that, yeah. That, like you like, really want to take this trip, so that you're, you're going back and That back you're considering. Now, yeah. compared to if there's like, say, uh, I forget what the threshold was, if it's already 70% sold out or more, they raise the price. But if the flight is only like, uh, say, half sold at that point, they may lower it a couple bucks. So you go, ooh, I better jump on this now. Yeah. It's a whole thing. So they say like you should um you should block your what's it called, menace your IP oh. or whatever. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. I, I forget. But anyway, or you could just uh, make sure you, my wife's an expert on all this kind of stuff and she already knew about that. So I yeah said, just you'd... contact uh, Menace's wife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I'll you do up, then. if you go back you definitely delete your cookies and get rid of your history. Yeah, so before they you go back to the site to look at yeah. you'll get a completely different price. Makes and sense. it's based on the fact that you already searched it. Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah, search on one and then book on another. I know, but it doesn't matter because even... It knows your it'll, computer. Yeah, it'll still see. No, bu- no but bu- I mean, like, I'll on- look up a price on a computer, but then I'll check it in the app right. to see if there's any kind of... Oh, I see. You or, know, or and Ray not can like... Do all the research and then use my computer to book. But it yeah. might still know the IP if you're on Wi-Fi, if you take yeah. off mm-hmm. True. Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just, you know, contact Menace's wife. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. Can do. That's She's the true. expert. For everybody out there, it's just the yep. easiest way. Yep. Right. Yeah, but anyway, uh, so today is the day that ticket prices for flights around the holidays hit rock bottom. This is historically. Okay. Uh, according to travel sites, their data shows that prices usually start dropping in June and just keep going down through most of August. But uh, cheap flight day is just based on the overall average. So it really depends on when and where you're flying. But in general, the uh, best prices tend to be one to three months before you fly mm-hmm. or two to eight months if you're traveling internationally. Uh, what you don't want to do is what ends up happening with me more often than not. Wait till the last minute. Last minute. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Like it used to be. You can get a mortgage on your house. <laughs> it used to be that you could find like really good deals a week out because they would take, you know, whatever the unsold seats were. Right. Whatever. If it yeah. wasn't sold no out. No way. Either. But that is not the case anymore. Nope. Because they're already overbooking the flights as right. it is. Uh, yeah, which is so frustrating. Yeah. I still checked uh, my dream flight, and it's still $20,000 first oh. class to Dubai. <laughs> is that oh, one that's way? Right. That's on Emirates? Yeah. That's one way? Oh, it's round trip. Oh, yeah, round trip. oh well, that's a deal yeah, then. Yeah, have. $20,000. Yeah. <laughs> but for a flight that long, it I, might be, I mean, just for the experience of it. I get it, but I got to have a plus one, too. So you're talking about 40 grand. That's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> Your wife's got a job. She does. You got a job. She got a job. Yeah, somehow, Save up. That's a bucket list thing for you, Menace. Somehow, I know. my money's her money, and her money's her money. All right. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's weird how that works. Oh, that's weird. I saw yeah. some dude post a video of that flight, and he got mm. one of those. I guess you'd call it. It's like a little apartment. Like a, like a little apartment. Yeah. That's what Menace wants. Yeah, yeah, it's got the bed. It's got these. You know, multiple TVs, this, that, and the other. A shower. And I thought if I ever found myself on this flight, I would do my damnedest not to fall asleep because I would feel like I was oh, wasting yeah. money. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, I've been on flights like that yeah. where it's like, I don't want to sleep. I don't want to sleep because yeah. yeah. I'm paying $500 a minute to <laughs> oh, be on this plane. I love this too, Greg. I have friends that have taken this flight and that class. Yeah. And they automatically when they sit down as a bottle of Dom Perry. Oh, yes. There you go. <laughs> Pretty good. Noise. Yeah. But then I also noticed, too, that it had a little door, and the door mm. have all these holes in it, so you can't really be nuding in there, you know? Mm. Mm. I'd just go in the shower, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> But I would be so bummed if I fell asleep. Yeah, I mean, there's, like, those um, those planes that have the lay-flat seats or, or, like, Jet Blue Mint or whatever. Yeah, This are... is that, but on steroids. If you yeah. haven't seen it, go yeah. to Emirates, go online, do, like, a Google search on Emirates First, first Class. class. 
and so next awesome. level. Mm. It's unbelievable. I mean, how many people can they get in that particular uh, type of service? Can they get like, are like know. four of those? I mean, it's a plane. Right. I mean, how big could it be? Right. How many of those can they possibly yeah, have based I, on the space you need for? Them? I don't. I think it's four or six. Yeah. It's a, you know. I mean, really planes are massive, yeah. but right. But yeah, then I'm just thinking, still. like, there's people that are taking that every day, <laughs> multiple times a day. I'm like, and they're jaded about who, it. What do you mean they're jaded they? multiple times a day? Like those flights? No, like there's people. Those flights are happening they multiple, go multiple oh, times yeah. a day, not a person. Oh, I thought someone's like commuting. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, the flights are commute. yeah happening multiple times a day. I'm like, yeah. who are all these people? Oh, you don't secret know. millionaires. You don't know Ed from Tulsa who commutes <laughs> to Dubai <laughs> yeah. constantly? Yeah. That's how he rolls. <laughs>